Okay. Right, let's get a name started. We'll take it after my home t home subregion. Left hand traffic is on. It's pretty resource rich. We've got all things on. All right. Mr. Miyagi, brilliant um, community member. Okay, let's get this ball on the road. All right. Oh, new map. So we'll take a look at the geography, the physical geography of the land. Just wait for the game to load up so yeah over the weekend and this was on the recommendation of pirate turtle damn you pirate um i had got the got the dyson sphere program from steam from steam it's early access like surviving the aftermath is so um so the basic premise of uh, Dyson Sphere program. If you're familiar with Factoro and um, Satisfactory, is is that you've got to build yourself in an industrial, in this case, an industrial and science space, starting on a planet, and then colonizing other planets in the system, to achieve the end result of building a Dyson Sphere around the around the sun, and the Dyson Sphere, given that it will have unlimited access to the star's energy. Is able then to print out, print out, produce the resources needed to support a civilization in in space. So um, over the weekend, because I'm in the long weekend at the moment, so today's Monday here, so we've got the day off. So 85% of the country has the day off today. It's just how the anniversary days have uh, fallen. So if anyone's from Wellington and Christchurch, yeah, we see you. Get back to work. So you had your days off last week. Um, so you'll see it when I do Dyson Sphere after lunch time. It's currently 9.26 at the moment. So in about three, three and a half or so hours. Um, so at the moment I'm planet side. And I'm slow. I've got all the basic industry in that setup, so I can produce. I you'll see it all play out. Iron, copper, steel, p producing power, this, that, and the other. And now I'm trying to advance to the point where I can. The, I don't have things like titanium available or sulfuric acid, which is needed for more advanced stuff. Well, not stuff I could not those materials I can produce quite readily. I can produce it artificially, but that consumes time. So at the moment we're just setting up to make sure we've got enough science production and basic industrial production so I can get to the next planet to um, start building more complex material, materials needed so we can start doing the Dyson Sphere. Now the tech tree in the game is absolutely massive and I mean massive. You'll see what I mean. but. It's uh, you have to think quite logical. You have to think quite far ahead. Um, the game's more balanced than satisfactory, and your resources do. I do believe they run out. Although I have seen a feature where you can reset them. I'll have to check because that'll be great. Otherwise, I'm going to be struggling for copper, which is used for circuit boards, which is used for science. So um, at the moment, I'm keeping an eye on where all my copper is to allow that for happen to happen. But the game's inquisitive um, 
it's quite inquisitive. You like you you could easily waste a whole weekend. You could waste a whole weekend. Um. Doing it. Uh, I've managed to get thing like get all the lines tied up in that, uh, but the question is now getting it all working at once. At the moment, I do a case of switch it on for what resource production I need for that moment, and then turn it back off. Although that said, um, raw resources I will ha always have and storage. Sorry, not raw resources in the immediate products, but I only produce what I need. I don't need the factories going all the time. So a lesson to be learnt with this is fully automating it and having it I produce only what you need so I don't have to keep going across the world to turn factories on and off. Now I might be missing something or that feature is just not available. See for example in is it surviving the aftermath and even Stellaris no it is surviving the aftermath I could set a limit to production. So like say with the tool makers I and clothing makers, I only set them to 50. So the storage holds 50. Now the storage can hold more, but when but they're not producing if it's above 50. So as it goes below 50, they start producing it. So I don't know if that particular feature is available in Dyson Sphere yet, because if it is, that would be great because I don't want the factories going all the time otherwise I'm just peeing out resources left right and center and consuming resources at the exact same time which is no good for anyone so if there's a production quota system that would be great I suppose we'll find out as we advance into the game and I get more science done you're gonna hear that term a lot in the duration I need to So yeah, you'll see Dyson Sphere program this afternoon, and then we will switch into um, City, uh, not City Skylar, Stellaris, or we'll continue with Dyson Sphere program, depending on um, what it is. Oh, we're um all right oh we've got some updates okay that's okay oh that's a good one to note there so I'm gonna address this question straight away once we get going once I've just got OBS going So we're going to address this situation up here because this will impact this will actually greatly impact on how I now do the city so this is why you pay attention to your updates but 
first thing we're going to do is I just need to oh, wrong one. Need to grab control. wonder what I'm doing, I am just setting up. That should have already current. Oh yeah. Oh okay, so for some reason that doesn't show up on the primary one. So I'm just gonna run an ad break to get rid of pre-rolls and then we'll get going. For those that are subs, you'll still see me. So I won't talk anything about Major until we get going, but just take a look. If you are subbed and you can see this, take a look at this. Because this is going to impact on how we do the game. So I can control the um, OBS. Uh, sorry, Twitch will find like. Otherwise, I'm having to use the second screen and it um, choose. Yeah, I know you can start the ad because I've just done it. guys you should all be back now so we're looking at um a part of the music too in the game it's gonna um do it for a little while so this is this is quite um this is quite interesting so the transport mode choices have now been um altered So this is going to have quite a massive impact on on the game. So the first thing we need to get a heads up on is that transport modes can now be edited in the options panel and eco and it can have different mode choices. Now I know Soever, I just checked in on this morning before I started 12 hour, he's doing a green city and I often do it as well. So eco districts, which you'll see when we come down here later, can have very different choices to what ordinary do. Now that's going to be interesting. 
Education levels can be modified. I'll take a look at that because we can get, um, a, the moment it's a lot of uneducated, which causes big bulges through the education system, which means as more veteran players will know, half your map's covered in schools and then they become redundant. So we're going to try and even that out. Uh, and that's our UI. And then single parents with underage children will be spared from early death. Oh, isn't that nice of the game? And then that will be probably just the KFC. Oh, no, that, yeah, that is the KFC. And no one should be anywhere within the limits. Right, first thing we're going to do is, because real-time is enabled, we are going to turn it off. Turn off the day-night cycle. And then I'm going to go back into the... Uh-oh. That's it to winter mode. Let me just check. Okay, we're going to be here having a pile of fun. Uh, parks. Okay, we're still set to winter mode. Which is the mode we do not want. So, theme mixer 2 comes on. And, oh, yeah, because they will default out to... Oh, that's quite dark. So I'm just going to alter these around a little bit. So just give me a moment. I was going to do this anyway. So okay, these are quite dark. Let me just check to make sure I had turned that option back off. I might need to adjust the LUTs as well. Yeah, day-night cycle is off. Okay. So we could be playing around with the LUTs. At least this one has a tendency to work better. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's incredibly bright. In fact, that might be a little bit too bright. Um, our European themes are quite, quite, quite... No. Oof, yeah, and everyone's going, oh crap, don't. I think we'll run with just a standard CO temperate theme. Um, so that's fine. I might need to. Yeah, they should all be fine. I can take those off too if I need to. So that's fine. Yep, that's fine. So we're just going through this. I can even alter the road colours. Just one moment. The only other catch with it being Auckland Anniversary Days, the kids are home too, so. You can change that. That could be, um. So that's fine. Okay, weather. So Northern Light Probability is always at maximum. Let's check these. Minimum night temperature, I'm gonna. Just do. At stake, Jerusha, and you wait. Don't be on the laptop and on there at the same time. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, so that gives that up. So that's all fine. Color correction. Ah, the LUTs. This is what I'm looking for, is the LUTs. Whoa! That's incredibly, um, yikes. Let's just work the LUTs out, okay? Because this is what will, um, be impacting it. No, that does that breaks everything. Uh, European, well, European looks fine. It's a bit brighter then. Sorry, if you're wondering what to do, we're just working around with the LUTs because you always got to get these done correctly. We're going to be a bit. Yeah, there we go. I think these tunnels were not rendered properly either. So let me just. Yeah, it's um, I'm just gonna make sure they. Okay, so that's fine. So that's not gonna cause a problem. It's just a um, a visual issue. Okay, so this is where we start. Okay, so this is where we are. So let's come back out. So if we um, get some tiles off the ground. I always start with my first nine, so we've got somewhere to start with, especially as you try and get a hold of the interchanges. Now this map is unique in so far as, okay, so you've got the big inter is the railways too. My last time I did this map I kept the railways just for intercity and used monorail because the land was perfectly flat. So you've got an intercity highway that comes down and goes around and then connects to two more that swing around there. You've also got a highway that comes through there. Comes through there and you've got a height, so you got there. So there's no one, and then you've got this bypass that comes around the outside, and then you've got these two here in the middle. So there's technically, uh, apart from this one which runs runs around the edge, there's no one single highway. Uh, but the problem is you've also got these three highways which come right in like that. So that's going to um, create some... You've also got the inter the rail that comes in as well. Otherwise, for the most, most of it, the rail runs and... Mr. Miyagi's done a good job with the junctions. Run round on the outside. So you've got to work out um, your transit for starters and what's going to go where. Now, last time I had the big 12 lane roads but they were just overkill I didn't even fill them up at 400,000 people which is uh, deemed a very large city oh, so this is where the UK roads would be a final now I don't want to connect them up that's the worst thing I could think ever. And to make it a one big roundabout would be just as devastating as well. So, if I remember last time, I trimmed these back quite significantly, significantly and then ran smaller expressways um, to do it. Now, the rail was connected up. So, got to think of the transit mix we're going to use. But first of all, let's pop back into our options. And take a look at the WG mod. 
No, not recoat. Recoat is on. It's fine. Yeah, so that's there. So you can see as you go up. Transport. This is we start having a lot of fun. So this has already been said. So Eco are going to have a tendency to use public transport and active active modes more than um, resi uh, your standard run of the mill. So that's actually quite interesting. I'll take a save of that. Just wait for that to complete itself. A residential hike and the tendency to use bike. Well, that explains that one. That explains that one quite a lot. G'day, son. Nice to know that as well. So keep an eye on that. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. I don't need to alter any of them. Right, yep. All right, off you go. Yep, we can all see. See that mush? Sick it goes. Bye. Bye. All right, so the first part. See you later. Bye. You bye bye, son. So the first part is what? This is a big junction, so this is where a lot of them are going to be coming in. These ones I remember trimming back quite hard. And I used the six lane arterials to do it. So in fact, we're gonna do that again. So we're gonna trim. Get these out of here. That one comes in because that takes you straight into the city center and then this one comes out. Sorry, I have not. Sorry, I didn't turn that on. Are you wonder where all the music was? It's like, oh. That's a bit better. Okay, so that's taken them out. And we've got this big boy here. Okay, so I think the first thing we need to do is. Oh, yeah, I've got to place a translation before we can even start. Okay, so that's a, um, so we're looking at intercity, are we? Intercity and intra. So I'm just wondering, let's take a look, at, I'm just trying to, no monorail for this one, so that will impact that straight away. So we're going to be using bad peanuts assets then. Uh, is that a four platformer? So, interest city on the bingo. Okay, so we're going to be starting a little bit backwards. Bye. Dun, 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 dun. So, let's get the start this off. We'll use our vanilla road assets as much as we can. Oh. Um, okay, I've got to be very careful with how I play around with the intro. 
this is gonna be a good first test straight off you'll see what I mean in a minute so let's get the node set up pop anarchy off yep so we're using vanilla rose to get us to get us going I'll have to do a pre-roll soon so we will be running pre-rolls just to keep the ads down otherwise you're gonna get bombarded with them in the 12 hour okay so let's so we've got the express stations too so that means express will always run out in the middle So now what I've got to watch out for is um, I'm going to have to use these very finely. So then just so this is going to get very fun. Okay, and you'll see what I mean once we settle down. So this is going to be another. F I'm just yeah, this is going to happen. So I'm just wondering if the metro tracks are going to work for this going to require me to place a subway station to have it enabled this is not going to work i'll have to use a i don't think there's don't think there's rails yes there is there's rail metro but that won't be used all the time okay let's go back to Okay, so we've got to be very... Okay, so this is where we're going to have run into an automatic crap shoot. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to just have to be very careful on how I do the layouts. That's all, so that's going to be very fun to do. Because we're going to have this scenario, um, scenario fire up. Which is fine, it's not going to be a major bug there, it's just going to be case of oh crap skis okay where's that other one there because now I've got to think ahead oh pre-rolls just gonna do pre-rolls so those are the sub um I won't so I'm mixing intercity intercity, which is extremely well, it's a big no no, but you can control it by doing this. So, yeah, there will be times where they do blend and times where they do not. So, two separate lines so the end of city will come down then not and then they're just going to make sure they it disappears after that so that's fine we'll just wait for the pre-rolls to disappear
So we'll have one line of heavy, or a couple of lines of heavy rail, but I think for the most part we'll be using metro and trams more for this. So we'll go do surface uh, metro, which will be a treat. Okay. So we'll drop another one. So this is obviously going to end up being the city centre area. Straight off. So let's do another one. So yeah, of course you're having to think quite far ahead on what you're doing, but hey, whatever. Yeah, that's fine because it's, um, we go back to rail, run that, uh, that's a straight down, I might have actually, where is that other connection, this one, oh, it's right there, okay, I think the easiest way to do that is bring him along. And then run him on a very yeah, tight curve out and then this this is just a very tight curve going the other way so oof one of the uglier ones I've done but So we've got to bring him around. So that's a quite a sharp turn. Whoops. And then we just do a quick Allow the inner cities to come back out. Because that's our um, bypass in there, so they mightn't always want to um, use it because they uh, more often than more often than not won't. Yeah, so there that was that out. Okay, so we've got the two stations down, and then I'll run Metro around that in a minute. Good, left-hand drive's on. So, where we've got... So, the city centre's obviously going to end up in here. Um, it's also going to be a big Metro, too. So, I think the easiest way to run that, and we've also got these roads. So, I think the easiest way to do that... Let's go road. Nice big six laner. Actually, it might be one of the very few cases a um, eight laner is run. So who's going to be bringing in the most? So we'll basically. Oop! Auto save. Do do do. Okay, so that's going to be there. I think this is one of the very few times I use a big eight laner. And then four lane. That's a big as roundabout, and everyone's going, really? Yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, the node's going to line up for me. Oh, they are too. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. 
So that will form there. That connects there. That connects there. Don't worry, there will be other roads running around it. That's the stations there. That's going to bring highway there. There will be another junction in here. Just got to work out where the central station is going to end up being. I've got technically two. So that gives... Um, spreads the load out a bit because the problems with intercity stations is they are notorious in um, backing backing up and causing congestion. I don't think that's a hit though. I think it's a medium. The dynamics on this are a little bit... Four... That's four cycle lanes. Do I have four bus? Or do they classify it as a... some reason in rather silly. You know, uh... Is that four? Yeah, some reason they dumped it there and it's like, huh? Don't worry about those, they'll be dealt to later. So let's just... Obviously there's going to be a lot of toing and throwing with the roads a bit until um, I have settled down what I'm planning to exactly run. Okay, so that's... Another big as roundabout, another big 120. Uh, that's, that's gonna be out slightly. So we'll just bring them along there. Slap him. Oh, did that free cursor? Nodes, where the. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, the nodes. Now, if you. Oh. Shoot. Haha. <laughs> Try that again. If you're wondering, there's no bus lanes yet, no crap, Sherlock, that I can use TMP to sort that out. Okay, so we'll bring the highways in. And I think for this, we'll use. So, yeah, new map today, and we'll be running this through till. Um, we'll be running this through until about May. I like running these for a good three months or so. Because I usually do the big cities. Oh, perfect. These nodes are going to... This is going to line up very well. That is lining up extremely well. I'm um, actually... So the best way to do this is run it backwards. And then you just get your upgrade tool and turn it around. So now we turn this around. Alright, uh, this is with... Um, this is actually where bus lines actually might not work. Because see how they're going to default left? So actually I'll have to, for the motorway ones, I'll have to take them out. It's okay. Uh, no, the don't bother with cycle lanes. You, you wouldn't be silly enough to do it. You'd actually force them up and over. I might actually just do that one too. And that's a good test for the line marking tool. So this one is not bus lane. This one is just a standard for... It's actually tempting to run this as... Um, keep that as a three. As highway. Because that... And you... Because that will keep the cyclists off it. And then drop this back to... Oh, 
Oh, it's actually traffic lit these out. That's fascinating. That's the one time I'll do a highway roundabout. You won't see me do those very often. This one will remain with bus lanes for the moment. If I need to remodify it, I will. Okay, so that's that highway connected. So now we just need to do him. And, of course, when the roundabouts are there, there's going to be other bypasses around. So, we're using road hierarchy again. Which is always fun. Okay. So, that is... Yeah, so that needs to come up a little bit further. Okay. A little bit further drop another big one okay so it's gonna do it on do it for that one it's fine so we'll bring the highways back in and then this one's gonna be a little bit interesting so I gotta work out where the, um, the nodes are ah they're right there that one's gonna be a easy one to do uh, straight Do that. Do that. Nice big shoulders. So if you break down, you ain't going to be in the pickle. Okay, and again, this will be another example of doing a four laner. So, if anyone in active mode, so walking or cycling, wants to get around, I will have things like pedestrian bridges and all that set up. So they can just go over um, rather freely. That said, as I did in Palpatine City, I often ran um, cycleways alongside as well in the, in the bigger roads. So, they had that option um, available I am just curious if that would be a better option so I'm going to do it on the other two because I'll show you what you do here so a um, bit of tutorial in play now so what we'll do with TMPE is yeah that should all be set uh, no late Oh, because I haven't set up the modes yet. <laughs> I haven't set up TMP for the city. So with Transport Manager Edition, um, you have to set up with every city on how you want the dynamics to work, which is great. So let's go here. So it's too straight, too round. And then to emphasize the point... We get out the line marking tool and we start doing our lines. Solid at point three. And this one is at also point three. So this is just the line um, intersection marking tool. Great little graphic mod, available on the Steam Workshop. Highly recommend if you just want to do small details on getting things solid um sorry brain freeze point three and then around here you need this one so that one doesn't need to be as thick because reasons and then one two three four and it is a chevron and it looks like he's fixed that particular bug too, so it is working. Because they used to invert, and then when you try to accidentally type in zero, it caused an, an overflow stack, crash the game. So it looks like that particular bug has been fixed. Yay. So there we go there, so then that's just one. And 
one. So that would be fair. And you don't need to add one there, so they just split across. Quick, easy, dumb. Woohoo. And then if we were to do this one, um, first of all, we would do this. Two, three, and then we go around. Point three. Point three. Ah, uh, and that's a solid two, by the way. Okay. So that would go there. That would go there. So we've got three. So that would go... And I could control this with light. So that's how that particular one would work. To be honest, uh, if I had my, um, that should be a straight out, um, solid at point three. Oops. So that's how you would do that one in return. back out of it. Yeah, so that's just quickly doing a quick, easy fix on the intersection. And of course you could do your signs and all that later. Okay, so that's connected. That's connected. Now we need to bring him up. So there's two things I, I am going to do. I've just got to anticipate the, ra um, the rail as well. So I'll just knock this back a bit. And then we will add I think this one's gonna be particularly useful for a very famous Yumble Interchange. Now then And that goes, and we'll just quickly connect it up. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. And just use move it mod to correct it. So that's that connects. So we've got a Yumble interchange in there, and I've got a. Ooh, do I want a bridge that'll go underneath? I've got to anticipate Metro too. So, um, I think that's going to be a case of a bridge. So let's switch over to the these. Now, is that a three and a four? Okay. Oh, that's a four. Oh, flip. Okay, I might. Oh, let's run these as a three, then I can see if I can upgrade them back. Whoop, auto save. So let's just do that. Okay. Ah, good. The node extent is quite far out. So one, two, three, four, five. So um, it's twelve meters. And then again, always run backwards. It just saves you a lot of grief. So I can now turn that around. Okay. And they're also that's quite wide as well, so it means I can run more active mode. So 
cars like that, um, bridges like that, I also often throw down other modes as well, like um, pathways. So it just makes that a lot easier. Now this is the one time where you run backwards. Now go the opposite direction. So this mode. So let's. It is quite a steep drop. Okay. And then we do the same coming back. Whoops. Always fun when you muck around with the keys. And two meters here. One moment. Plums. <laughs> Summertime. Okay. So that's that connected. So that means should I have to drop that to a two, and that should encourage some um also some behaviour changes too. Induce demand and all that jazz. So, yes, Yumble, I'm modifying your interchange slightly, buddy. But it's just because of, um... Yeah, there we go. And I'll show you how to work those out. Right. I'll come back with line marking tool here in a minute. Okay, so that would be a three and three either side. So Yumble has set this up beautifully. Okay. 
Okay, let's connect this up. Once we've got the basic roads in that in place, it becomes a lot easier then to start mapping out. So the first part of the game, yeah, it takes ages. That's a grunt. That's a given. Team, we all know that. But once you've... Because you think, oh, do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? Um, this, that, and the other. So, I definitely get that one. Yeah, bus, buses, can, uh, buses can ignore that, which is um, particularly useful. Okay, so... Drop to six. Drop down. Having to keep an eye on pre rolls is annoying. It really is Twitch. It's not funny. Okay. So th th this roundabout's probably going to get altered again. So one, two, three, four, five, six done and then we just look back here so that would be because this gives bus priorities which is something i do like that no 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 yes see that's going to be absolutely hopeless so no point the bus priority is technically on the wrong side but i still want that as a normal four lane road The bus priority would remain there. That would remain there. That would also be a three. Um, no point putting bus priority there. Uh, yeah, all right. Um, but bus priority is held there. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, bus priority is actually held there. Uh huh. Do that again. So it's not held to the motorways. Yep, there we go. So that's fine. Yay! So we've got that part all settled. So the next part we'll do here is you can't do bus priority there. It's, yeah, piddling yourself up a hill. So. Um. Would be perfect. That would be perfect for a tram road, except it's across a motorway junction. So, oh wait, no, traffic shouldn't be turning across. So, it would be perfect for a tram. Let me just work the dynamics out, see if this is actually going to work, or this is going to be a big load of um, womp. So do that there. Let me just set up the um, lane dynamics. So, because if no one's turning across with the intersections, then you'll be fine. Okay. So he's going there, so he doesn't need to turn right. So he's a straight across, and he's a left boy. Um, he doesn't need to turn right, but that's an upgrade to the road. He doesn't need to turn right there, so he's a straight boy. They go left. Yeah, so they're, they're not turning across. So that's fine. So, yeah, that does work. Um, that one does not... Uh, that's... Oh, trolley buses. I might use them for tourists this time around. Definitely using helicopters this time, so... Ooh, ooh. And then dirt mode yep so that means he should not be turning so to go here pre-rolls oh I'm gonna to have to run pre-rolls again in a second technically that's a um, goes back to a three
Uh, let me just work that out quickly. I think that actually goes to a three because to allow freehand turning on the left. Sorry guys, gotta run another set of pre-rolls. Don't want them, please sub. That just keeps ad free viewing while viewers come on that are not subbed. Wow, two minutes flies when you're having fun. Okay, yeah, no, that is a technical three-laner, and I'll show you why. So, let me just go back to the threes. It's actually a six-laner, sorry. I should use my terminology properly. I'll show you why. So, I'll just go here, here, and then I'll show you why. Because it creates a free turning lane because the, it's 90 because it's a small interchange you've got 90 degree angles in play so what you do here is that goes off but this becomes a left turn only so they've got exclusive access going around and then the same here so that's off and then that's an exclusive access around so when i end up detailing this it's going to be quite an interesting one to watch Okay, so, whoops, now we'll just do these roads because um, it is technically a, uh, I just wonder if the, vin no, cycle lanes won't work for this, so it's the old heavy road, so. And then I'll show you how you do the line marking tools for that. Auto save in effect. Just one moment.
Hmm. Nice to know. Okay, so that's that. Traffic lights are enabled. So how you do line marking tools for this. So we'll do detailing as we go so we don't have to come backwards and forwards as often. It's also if you <laughs> also makes it easier to do modding. Okay, so solid. And a lot of this is repetition, but then again, with urban planning full stop, a lot of it should be repetition. Um, for those paying attention to the tags, point three, um, you'll see mixed realities enabled, should be enabled. Okay, so I've got to trim that back. I'll do that next stream. Um, you'll see the mixed reality tag enabled. So that means blending the real world with the virtual world. So for City Skylines, I'm an IRL planner, city planner, or urban geographer, more to the point. So I blend those concepts into the game and the game concepts back out. So definitely certainly makes for some great entertainment, put it that way. That just totally miss. Yes. Silly game. Point three. And then what we do here in this instance. One, two, three, four. No, I wouldn't even do that. You just go straight. Solid. Just run it as solid. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, so a little bit of toing and throwing. Okay. And then that one is basically there. That just goes across. And that one you would bring across like that technically. But not always. So leave. Yep. So you've got the option of going across two. So one's a straight through, and one um, has the splitter. And then, of course, um, that is a... Um, because we've got crossing over, that's a straight solid. So you do the same here, and then I'll show you what you do. Um, I'm just having a contemplation about something. Welcome to real life planning, everyone. Better living, everyone. So solid point three. Um, again, that's solid at point three. Now we come round. So that's a solid. Yep. Whoops at point three. Okay, so then that comes all the way down to here. He spins all the way out to there. Thank you for the follow, low health. Welcome to the stream. He comes all the way round to there so this intersection is going to look a bit oops so that sits there that sits there he uh he sits there and that just allows for a straight follow so i will be having to use i'll be having to use um tactical urbanism to help spice this up a bit because it will be a little bit confusing so then what we do here is that happens there but what you do here and then i'll go so people don't intrude on it and what we will do here is um here here so those for just join us we are on our 12 hour stream today you end up doing that 
So we're on our 12 hour stream today. So we're staying with City Skylines. We'll then go over to the Dyson Sphere program after lunch. And then we'll do Stellaris. We'll continue with Dyson Sphere after that. So we're on a new map at the moment. Okay, and then you go yellow. And then just drop that back slightly. And then copy that in. So that forms that situation. And then of course, one, two, three. So your stop lines are formed there. Stop lines are formed here. So we've got that side and that side now done. Yay. As we say here in the zone car pipe. Okay, so that's done, that's done, that's done. Okay, we'll pop over to the next one. So we just now rinse and repeat. So I said we're going to do infrastructure detailing zones. So otherwise, if I come back and do it all at once, it is... Uh, and it, also, if I'm doing um, walkthroughs, it makes it a bit difficult as well. Because you don't know when I'm going to be doing the walkthroughs. Point three. Solid point three. Okay, he comes around to there. He is there, and he comes around to there. With that one going there, and they just do their little bit. So that's a solid. At point three. Okay. One, two. This is a bit of drawing it, otherwise, I'll be going, hey. Two, three, then we can go alt one. Uh, where did I take that last set off? Took it on the inside. Which is technically correct. Okay, so alt one, two. Three, four, paste, done. And then, of course, one, two, three, one, two. See, a lot of repetition, but welcome to real life planning. That's what a lot of it is. One, two, three. Okay, so this one is. Solid at point three. Uh, no controller would normally fix this, but I don't have, an, have it installed, so not going to go there. Solid at point three. Uh, wrong one. And. Point three again. Um, let's try that again. And then one, two, three, four, and that is a solid. And then this is a straight, straight run up the middle. So that's that side done. And then you've got these two big ones here. So what do we got? And then of course then you've got the highway. So we'll, we'll do this entire interchange up as a run through. And then take it back from there. Hello Shani. Hello Pup. Uh oh. 
don't aim like an Imperial Stormtrooper and you'll be sweet. Okay. Okay. I was gonna say, where's that taking the marking from? This is gonna be an interesting one to end up doing. So, solid. Uh, 0.3. No, not 0 0.03, point 0.3. <laughs> Be like, oh, that's a bit rip. Point 0.3. Oh, uh, no, that's because it's... <laughs> I did it again, didn't I? Point 0.3. Solid. Oh, there, that's... Point... Uh, you have moments in this game, exclamation derp. That was one of them. Oh, I can hear the DC-3 flying over again. Point three. And one. Oh, no, 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 no. What did I just do that for? That would normally be uh, the case there. You could do it that way. Or in my case, I like to, just to emphasize the point, do it as a solid. And this is one of the few times I might actually do... Um, do that. So that's one of them. Yeah, well, so it's all in duplicates of the Yumble interchange, which makes it very nicely to do. It really does. And it's a nice little compact, very tight. It's available in the work, Steam Workshop. I'll pull up the name in a minute, so if those wanting to look for it can. It's a very nice, tidy little interchange, and it's easily adaptable as well. So as you can see, I've would have seen I've altered the road slightly to for the environment it is in. But it's a very nice, very tidy, compact interchange that handles quite surprisingly the amount of traffic. Especially if you've done it properly. So yes, TMP is is needed. It's vanilla assets for sure. But its adaptability and flexibility just make it so much easier. that and a solid and then of course this one one two so that's that done so those are those two sides done yeah that creates a bit of a derpy situation um which creates a bit of a mess to clean up now that let me just check something i just want to try something i'm just wondering if this particular one is going to work Sometimes it does, sometimes it does, and then you just go, oh, rip, rip skis, and... Yeah, it would, but you're now creating the problem of a double node. So... Oop, auto save. So that's the case of, uh, whatever. Let's wait for the auto save to complete itself. So it's a case of, okay, so what you now do with the, yeah, because it's a, it's a kink, uh, kink over. No, kink shaming interchanges, but we're kink shaming interchanges. So, this is, um, because normally what you would, I suppose I could run it as a four. But that doesn't even work either because you're all dragging over, but, ah, uh, no, wait, that's because that's not set up. Yeah, now you're still doing a drag, so um, that's fine because that's quite a steep run up, run back, especially for that particular interchange. I'm 
might just try it again. Yeah, so that's the one time you do have to do that, so I'll do it on the other side. Oh, I don't have to because it's already been um, adapted. And you'll notice it's a, quite a steep run side on that as well. So chop and change. So in this case, we'll go back to the tool and we'll do him quickly. So solid. As I said before, a lot of repetition, which is fine. Nothing wrong with standardization. It just makes things more efficient. Okay, now this could be a little bit interesting when I do the chevron. Uh, it's just because of the way the node's sitting, so, mm, okay. Oh yeah, that's running a bit better. Yeah, so, okay. So, point 0.3, solid, point 0.3. Yeah, that works fine. I'll show you what to do up at the other node in a minute. When you're changing your motorway nodes, up, nodes over. It's a point. and this is where you do turn it around and away we go solid 0.3 same again Done. Now, I'm, I'll might as well do these quickly and show you what to do here. So, we turn, go here. It's very quickly done. It's a lot of solid. 0 0.3. 0 0.3. It's just very, it's just very quick and easily done. And then repeat and return. One, two. Very easily done. Yeah, it creates a slight curve back, but I wouldn't panic about it. So those are those two done. So we'll now repeat on this side, and then I'll do those quickly, and then we'll go back to building some actual infrastructures. Like, oh dear. Oh, did we have a drop? Oh, haha, -ha. I forgot I had, I forgot I did that, whoops.
Okay, and then away we go. And Chevron. Yay. Solid. Good thing is, once you get the hang of it, you just just go along. I'm just going to watch how you don't go too fast. You make mistakes, but... Okay, so that's that one done. Mm, I could, I've got the control panel, the second control panel. So the layout is, if I'm looking at you now, that's the primary setting. It's got city scans. So the secondary setting has got OBS. And then I've got the laptop open to have Twitch open just to see what's going on with the bit rates. Quite interesting watching what's going on with Twitch and why streamers will complain about the delays in that. It's also, given that, I see, what's the time now? 8.55, yeah, Australia's um, just about going to work, so you'll see the thing drop out a bit. 0.3. So it'll be an interesting I haven't streamed Dyson Sphere program, so that's going to be very interesting to see how that handles itself today. And I mean very interesting. Doo-doo. Chevron. <laughs> Turn. Solid. Uh, sorry, dashed. Solid. Point three. I don't need to do it that side because it's already been done. Okay. Um. Ooh. One moment.
as I was saying. So that is one interchange all done. Um, and that's just doing it at the at the most basic of levels. If you're building, and that's using with a custom made interchange, so ready to go. If you are doing a fully custom and say custom interchange, i.e., building one yourself, um, at another hour. So you're looking at about two and a, one and a half hours to do an interchange all up. Okay, so this is going to be the city center. So you're gonna have, what I'm gonna do is that's a arterial. So there will be nothing on that. You're going to cause traffic problems. So what we're going to look at is creating a road in parallel. Um, buses will run down it. So what we're going to do is now look at creating a parallel road that will carry that will act as the main street in that. So first thing we're going to do is, and um, before we do that, we're going to do the pre rolls again. So while the pre-rolls are on, I'll just talk about it. See, yep. So there's the pre-rolls done. So yeah, this afternoon I'm looking forward to getting back into the dice and see if I got the problem is I don't I have not streamed it, so I don't know how Twitch nor the the rig's gonna take it. Uh, was that an auto save? Yep. So yeah, well the pre rolls are right. So yeah, so we'll run a parallel road to that because there'll be nothing sitting on these arterials, and there will be probably intermediate tree roundabouts here and here, so you don't have what's called the um. Oh no, there's the auto save now. Ooh, the bit rate's gonna really fall out. Okay, pre rolls are off. We're about to come off. Yep, they've just come off. Let's take a quick look. Okay, so welcome back. So what we're going to do is look at creating, and I'll use these ones, and I'll use the cycle lanes. So where is it? Ah, uh, ooh, or I could use the two plus ones because it's still it's still carrying a lot of traffic on and off, and then you drop the hierarchy down again. So I actually might use this one in this instance it's the city center as well so a lot of the laneways and stuff and that will be carried elsewhere so what we will do is actually sorry go back to a three laner and anticipate it as bus so that would actually be over here and make sure we oh have i got road deck oh i think somebody's just updated something Ooh, yay oh that's been enabled yay is that across all of them oh we've got an update oh i love up i love my updates oh brilliant most brilliant and it's applying to next as well so even better so that should be already enabled let me get my trees yes <laughs> yeah if i want to be cheeky i'll be cheeky Uh, 
goes the nuking. Okay. So let's just line that. Uh, is this nodal? Yeah, it's nodal. Okay, so. Um, shoot. Okay, that creates a bit of an interesting scenario. Um, so what we might do is... I might just do... You'll be thinking, what the fucking hell am I doing? The reason why I'm doing that is I want the roads to run in parallel. We get a bit of a um, crapshoot. So I think the easiest way to do that... I've also just got to anticipate... Yeah. At Mega Roundabout's huge, but it's there for a reason. So... Uh, it's not a line track. They deem it a medium road, which is quite ironic. Okay, so we can take him out. Okay, so we can now run him basically all the way over. I am not going to round about him off. So... Actually, I have an idea what I'm going to do for this one. This is uh, it's, uh, this is what I mean. This is mixed reality. So you're blending the virtual with the real world into the virtual. So despite what some think planning is in a rigid box, it should be fluid and dynamic. And the way I do planning is extremely fluid and dynamic. Yes, I use off-the-shelf standardized ideas, but they are very adaptable to... Um, technically a bus lane ain't going to work for that one either. And technically you don't want buses running down it anyway. Um, ooh, that, which is going to be interesting to work out. Yeah. So things will adapt as I need to do it. So expect a lot of chopping and changing. Uh, oh, yeah. Do I want to do that or not? Or am I going to be running separated cycleways? That's the that's the that's the big question. Am I going to be running separated cycleways or not? Because that's a big roundabout. And uh, given this is going to be running, I'll run it for now, and then I'll have a very big think about it. Okay, easiest way to do that is do this and then turn it around. Okay, so the bus lane is going to work there. Um, do, do, do. That might be a straight four laner. So, oh, wrong one. Yeah, so that's what we might do. Okay, so that one runs there. So I'll show you what I'm wanting to do. Go back to the cycleway road. Yeah, there it is there. Okay, so this is going to create a... Oh, that's going to connect. Allow me to do it. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's enough. Okay, so... That is definitely a bus lane. Okay, and then, of course, I will... <clears throat> Talk about tongue Then you can do stuff like this. Because remember, the tram can only stop on the solid side, so you're going to have to do your... Um, do your interchanges in that. So you've got... See, this is going to be very interesting to do. Because he's going to have to do quite a... I'll show you what... Because that's because it's car park. And now there's two ways I can alter that. And I'm... Not really wanting to do it. Because it's only two there. So... Yeah, um, that could be a case of doing it, running it as a three. So go here. Problem is, I lose the cycle infrastructure on the way out. 
but it's under lights control so it's not it's not crucially important so you can hold it as a two because that just gives the stacking uh technically it does give the stacking space to go around and plus i've got a tram intersection here so i'll alter these as i see as i need to if you want to know how you do the lane layout layout So you're going to need the stacking space. So that's a two and a one. Okay, so this is, you just turn that off. Keep that on. And then if you want to know how to do the lane dynamics for this, is I have no idea. So this is going to be a fun experiment to do. So, so. Be right back. I just need to do the washing machine. Now, you've probably asked, am I going to do an intersection straight down there? No. Too many conflicting movements. That will be handled in different locations. So this is the reason why it's a 3 plus 2. But if we do the line markings, so I believe this is under the lights control? No, just the 1. Oh, because it's a one way. So the traffic's going to keep moving anyway. Okay. So this is why I love City Skylines, because you... Look, I've been a, I'm a veteran of five coming up six years on this game. But you learn something new all the time. And I hope people do learn something new all the time. Because if you don't, I'm going to be a bit disturbed. In fact, that's how you get status quo entrenchment and things don't get fixed. Okay, so this is going to be... So let's just take this one step at a time. This could e this is either going to end up being the biggest sodding mess under the sun. So if you do the lane markings first, it should help you. Okay, so that's them. Um days of old they would have done this what you're now seeing is led cat's eyes on the road and what they're doing now is to help create 
um, such as complex intersections like this, be more safe and efficient. The cat size will only light up. So ugh, let's get the mouse. So you would run. They would. You have cat eyes here and here. Now they, when the lights are red, they wouldn't be on. But as soon as they go green, they would light up. So you've got a way through. Got it. Like runway lights and taxiway lights for aircraft. Same principle. It's a very smart method. Now, these have got car parking as well, so you've got to anticipate this out. It's a very complex little robot. It's a very handy little package. I love it to bits. Uh, is it Klaus that created this? Yeah. Oh, Klaus. And it goes well with um, this one and this one, which is by Bad Peanut. This is by... Else is what? Well, anyway, so solid there. I think we've also got a bike lane, so that would be. See, this is going to be interesting to do. So that's a solid, but point three. So I've um. I'm just wondering if this is going to work. One, two, three, four. So, no. That's a solid. And it's... And this is where you find out if the Senate's colorblind or not. Green for cycle lanes, red for bus lanes, rule of thumb. So, yeah. And then one, two, three. And that would end up in that situation. And then I would do tactical urbanism to fix it up. So that's how you do that situation. I'll show you what to do with bus lanes when I come round to it. So that's that side done, that's that side done. Now this is going to be a little bit interesting. Because um, convention says one thing, reality says the other. So you would go... Oh, did I save? So you would... This is going to get a little bit interesting to do. Solid. Point three. And then you would do this because you've got that in play. But I've also got a cycle lane in effect. One here. And one there. And also. One there. Ah, uh, that's a solid by the way. Point three. Hmm. What to do? Okay, so... Alt, one, two. Okay, so that's a solid. Oh shit, I should have done a paste on that. Because this is indicating that you've got a cycle lane in effect. You're going to be crossing over a cycle lane. And I'll do the markings for it in a minute. And then you've also got one, two, three. Oh shoot, no, it's not going to take that. So you've got to do it again. So again, it's a solid. Oh, actually, that's actually going to work. I should be taking a pace on this. Whoops. So they're not going to be universally colourly matched, but it's a case of, oh, whoop-de-doo, whoop -de welcome to patchwork maintenance. Oh. Oh, 
Um, wrong one. Point three. Um, it is a solid. Point three. And then, not that one. One, two, three. What? Four, five. Solid green. I should really paste these. This is me being a bit silly. There we go. So the cycle lanes are there. And then re rinse and repeat on this side. But it'll come down. There. So the main street is there. As I said, I'll come back and do the roundabouts when ready. So he would go. Yeah. Yeah, nice big piece of rail. Actually, I can create. There's going to be another road there. So we don't want him coming in too soon. Okay, so that's there. Uh, there. And I don't want to add another intersection there, so they'll come through here and through here. So that's just a case of, yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's fine there. So actually can come a little... Oh. Uh, uh oh. That's a big intersection that I want to take the trams away from that, so the trams could be crossing over... Um, I might be actually keeping the trams away from that. So, let's bring them there. So, we're actually. Ooh. Yeah, we'll run that. Oh, I know the best one for that. So. Ah, uh, is that a two-way? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is a two-way. Oh, did I just create avenues? Ah, whoops. Some of your best designs often come accidentally. It's like, hey? I like what I just did. Oh, that's, um. Oh, fudge. Oh, because I think it sits in. Yeah, it's that one I was looking for. But, 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 that one actually might work for them, for what I'm actually looking for, so that some of your best discoveries are uh, accidental, well, anything with city planning is accidental, so double boulevard, so let's take the trams away from that particular stretch, so that would be a, um, I would run that, It's gonna node. I know it's gonna. Um, do I have? Do I have that particular one as a three, three, three beside? Yeah, I do. So that one I might particularly bus lane, and then just. Yeah. Just, I think it doubles the trams around. Yeah, so it's going to do, end up doing, oh. That's a point. That's a point weighing off, actually. Um. It doesn't have the cycleways. So. 
Might actually set it back on this one. Yeah, I'll set it back on this one. Let's drop pop back in here. Okay, so that means this one comes out. And I'll use a standard road. So that would be a heavy. And then that would be up and down. So, um... Back to medium roads. Um, I'm just going to do some experimenting quickly because these ones have nice big wide paths. This is why I like using them. Yeah, they don't quite work. Have I got another one I can use? Oh, see. Rip skis. Because remember, these are going to be carrying your city center stuff, so it's like, you don't do it. Okay, so, and then that's up and down. So that's two, um... One thing I will say about City Skylines, prepare to experiment lots, and just do, and be prepared to make mistakes, and correct them as you go. Okay, there's no right or wrong way of building... Well, <laughs> that can create a debate. Shoot. See, I just said a mistake there. It's like, oh dear. There's no right or wrong way in, um... Doing things. Actually, there is a wrong way. The wrong way is... Not wanting to. I'll take that back. Okay. I'm, I'll just... Let me just turn those around. Okay, then I need to alter these because otherwise you have left-hand conflicts, uh, turning conflicts because of the way the bus lanes are going to be set up. Oh, flip a duck, that's right. That happens. Um, that's slightly wider. And I don't want to put cycleways in there. Oh, that's because they, in oh, that's because it allows parking. That's right. I'll just see if I don't have anything already that allows for it. And no, it's not. It's not part, um, bike. Because that's wider again. I don't think I do. No. Not for that particular asset anyway. So those are those set up. Uh, do I have a heavy specific road for that? This is what I mean. All the wonderful assets. Wonderful, wonderful assets. Uh, two, is that a 2-5? That would be a very interesting one to do. Wow. No, sorry, it's a 2-4. And that is actually going to work soddingly brilliantly. Now I'm going to put street trees in. Uh, let me just alter that, of course. So, LPS. Trees. Low poly. Low poly. Ah. Oh, that's going to work nicely. Although I might need to knock... Uh, knock the bus lane out. Ah. I've also got to remember, what am I putting down there too? The, sometimes the bus lanes work, sometimes they're absolutely um, useless. It depends where the buses are going. So, the other thing I can do, so what I'm, I won't notice until the zoning is down. 
Is it, is it just going to be a waste of time and I just do cycleways either side? Given how the turning dynamics are going to work? It depends on how the bus routes are going to be set up. Yeah, so this could change again. So as I said, prepare to make changes. Don't bottle yourself um, by not wanting to make changes. Otherwise, you're going to really screw yourself over. And you're going to end up with a subpar product that um, you're not happy with. Like, the amount of screw-ups I've done in this game would be quite, <laughs> quite legendary. Believe me. Um, that's going to be a straight two laner so that would just um, don't put bother with buses and yes it is a st steep angle for a reason so that would now come down um, and then we go back to ah lum -bum. I could be cheeky and try asymmetrical, wrong asymmetricals. The good thing is these roads are wide enough that if I have to upgrade them for whatever reason, it's like, oh yeah, sweet as. Um, I am just wondering where that, if we're running buses up here, we might not be, so. So we drop back here. And just take the bus lane out. The buses will determine. Me. So that's good. So we're coming along nicely. Now that's... So I wasn't going to do that there. That was going to be done up here. So we're going to run another... So there's the tram. That one was not to be connected. He was going to get connected down here. So it could be a case of... Do this now. Otherwise, I'm going to struggle. There we go. Ah, that's better. Now, I'm just wondering. Oop, auto save. Right. Pre-roll time, and also take this moment to take a stretch, and then we'll cover this intersection here.
Right, that's the pre-rolls done again. Okay. So, we'll yumble that off and just change off. So, we're going to bring another set of lines in here. So, whoops. Now, it's okay. So, how do we get up there? So, the roundabout will handle that going up that direction, that direction, but we still need intermediate tree connections. So, what we'll do is again we'll run the bus lane roads um oh no trains will be local i have a nasty tendency of overrunning the trams so no okay, so is that a three okay so run him up okay and then we go back to here Shoot across, scurry across. Um, that just allows for that. It just looks keeps her. so that forms up there, and then they'll be connected there. Um, now, what I also do is there might be cycle where boulevards can spurring off these, so there'll be other alternative connections, or I can make them straight transit ways only. So um, you've got that as well, or I can make it straight tram roads and take the cars out. So there's lots of ways this can be handled. As I said, there's going to be upgrades, lots of them. Okay, so the Yumble interchange is there, so we've got to anticipate him now. And we've also got to anticipate down here. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, was that bike? Oh, flip. That wasn't meant to be bike. That was meant to be, um... Rip skis. Sorry, that wasn't meant to happen. And... Mistakes. Yep. <laughs> okay, up we go. So we'll do that there. Now I've got a station there to anticipate. And then we've got this roundabout here. I could do another set here. I might. I'll see what I do. That will be determined by what happens down there. Because we've got the roundabout here. That we've got as well so i think what we'll do with him is run him as a bus remember trams i'm going to keep local so i'm not going to go over them out i've got metro for this so out he goes somewhere along like this and then get my bus lane roads one and then that becomes a motorways uh oh I promise I dropped this I dropped the sound walls that's okay okay so that's because what we're trying to work out is we've got the uh, we've got two central stations I need to figure. I've got two uh, Yumble interchange to work with. So yeah, you've got to work this all out. This is one big giant jigsaw puzzle, but a hell it's fun. Okay, so yeah, we'll run him. Okay, so what I might want to do is I might run. That's going to change accordingly. Oh, it depends what I run this way. So let's run... Let's run that across. So the trams will be down in this section. So this... Uh, these roads are also going to be very easily upgradable to tram as well. So that's anticipated. So build your bus first in tram. Hello, hello there. All done.
soi-même. So that's there, and that's there. We oh uh, one two three four. Because it's such a large roundabout, you can get away. You probably can get away with a yeah. That's it. So we'll put him there. But the reason why for that is it allows me to anticipate this. So what you want to do? Uh, if that looks a bit hickety pickety, yep, I know. Just give me a second. There's, there's going to be a way around this. I just need to get the um, bridge lined up. Otherwise, it's not going to make a lot of sense at all. So, get down we come. Two... Okay, so now what I want to do is you ski that particular section off and um, run that as a three. Now I'm just going to see how it's going to react with this. Yeah, so this is going to be one of the rare ones where you have to go to four uh now four set i think four was on the heavies it was a odd one it was the odd one out where is it oh no it's back on the small roads behave so you can get that now i'm gonna have to stop the build for a moment because i'm gonna have to go back along and hit the hit these intersections up Otherwise, we're going to have... It's going to be too much to do at once, so... Let's do these quickly. Okay, so that would be... Oh, that does not need to be that. That's a... Okay, so we can realign these. So let's just do these now. I might as well do these intersections now, otherwise by the time I hit start, we're going to be wasting half a stream resetting all these up. That's fine. Okay, this is a very... Uh, this one should probably end up being, um, yep, so this needs to be a four. Technically, the, these ones probably should end up being sixes. We'll see how it goes. So, it's going to be interesting to do. So, two, two. Okay, so that's that one done. Uh, no point doing that when we're not ready. Whoop, auto save. So that's a straight through. Okay. Now, T 
technically that does not need to be a left hand turn and I'll show you how you deal with that particular little nugget oh that needs to be a three technically the trams actually come down the wrong section let me just sh let me shift these around because I'm gonna come along and go nah because it's gonna I know what's gonna happen so do a quick change as I said you're gonna make mistakes there's nothing wrong with connecting fixing them up so that one should be there and this one should be uh, it's a heavy road and then that's a straight out and then that is a three lane either direction And you're probably going, where's the cycle way infrastructure? Yeah, yeah. That usually gets done off-road. So we'll... Okay. So what you do is... Okay. Come back to the line markings. So... That is a... there there that is yep that is not that's yep yep that's fine yep that's fine okay so disable that one because the bus lane's right there and technically take that left hand turn off because they should be coming through here So that's that intersection. It'll be fixed up further down. Okay. Now we'll come to this one. So that's fine. That's fine. So it's a 4-4. Okay, so... Um, take him off. Oh, okay. Now that's a double around. So that because there is a bus lane sitting right there. But that's an easy one to... Uh, yeah, he goes there. The, oh, I might actually knock that back into... And then the buses can merge over. So that's that dumb. See, so this needs to be done now, otherwise you lose track of your intersection. It's like, oh, crap. so that's that done they've got stacking capacity so they will stack accordingly okay come back to this roundabout that one's already been worked on so that's fine so that's doo -doo 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 -doo. done there Done there. Done there. Done there. And make sure you don't get that situation. Okay, so that's, that's that, that, and that done. And we'll come back to these as we're building on. Okay, so they're going to connect there into another round back. Pardon me. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, we've got the tramway. Ah, so this is going to end up being... Tram. Because we've got the tram... Because I have anticipated it. Okay. So this is going to change... Uh, this is going to change again. Because we are anticipating... Oh, it's a main feeder though, so I might actually keep it off and run it. 
separately. But we'll see. So it is anticipating tram, but we're not putting... So that's what I mean. This could be very well end up being a tram path. I just got to work out which side the trams are going to sit on. Okay, so as I said, it's going to change again. So I've realized, yes, the trams are up here to connect into this area too. Because this will be a big tram about. Alrighty. Okay, let's continue on then. Do, 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 do. Uh. Let's make that longer just in case I need to drop more down there. Okay. And then down we go. Six. Two. Bingo. Okay, so. Okay, we're anticipating a tram line. So I've got to work where she's going to come out of. So let's go to our tram roads. And then take it back from there. Because uh, this will give it away. I am tempted just to use these ones. Now, then they're, they're not zonable. Um, this could be used too as for bus if I want to keep zone zoning on it. So, of course, you've got four yet, but I'm not running general traffic. So the anticipation become. And then you've got these as well. Now, you've got to remember, these are the... You see, it's got parking. I don't need parking. There's not going to be cars running up and down it. The other one is, is I can do this, but as I said, I don't want cars down it. Cars have got other a access points. So there's going to be another access point in, in here as well. So you've got two there, two there, plus the roundabout and so on. This is going to have an access point there, roundabout. This is, oh. See, again, this probably end up being a transit way. Because you don't want cars going into your city centre. So, I think I'm going to run with... See, this one... Ah, yes. So, I can go grass and... Right, let me just run... So you've got that, and then I've got this one which elevates itself. Oh, shoot. Wrong. Oh. No, I need to. Because that's got the tramway. Oh, solder. Yeah, so that is going to be... It's only two, isn't it? Yeah, and that's a main road. See, that's connecting to a main road. This is not really, but so that's the. It's not there. Okay, so because we'll build another one. Yeah, because they've got the roundabout. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. I've just worked it out. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Because they've got this connection here, so to build that as a thing is going to get them um, skipping through. So if you want them, they should be technically coming down here to go that way, because they've got the roundabout to come around. Why is it going to... Um... Yeah, I know how that's going to work. Yeah, so that's not a bus lane. That bus lane was bu built in the wrong section. That one should be built when I do the second one here, over here. So I've technically done it the wrong way around. So, uh, oh. then again, at the same time, it's also... 
Oh no, because that stays as is. So, okay, so what are we doing? It's a straight tram. <laughs> That's going to be very interesting. Very interesting to put a roundabout there. And I mean very interesting. So, do, 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 do. Uh, no. Uh, no, hang on. I've got to make sure the roads are actually... Shoot, this is the only problem. I don't want the ones with parking. Can this be elevated? Yeah, see, these can't be elevated. Damn. Crap, so... But these can, can't they? Um... Is that a trolley bus? Oh, flip, can't these be elevated either? Okay. Oh, wait, this they can. I'm just clicking the wrong... F I can't hear it. Ah, uh, damn. So, to keep the service vehicles running on them. So, the one I'm wanting... No, so... Can I bridge this? Ah, that's the one I want. Yeah, because I'll still have service... Still have service vehicles running on it. So, the emergency services... Oh, that was the wrong one. So, the emergency vehicles can still access and the utilities. Because I can use TMPE to fix that out. Hmm... And I'll show you how you do that in just a moment. So this is going to get all altered. Okay. Ah, uh, no, that is the correct side. Unfortunately, it's going to create a conflicting movement on this side. Hmm? Pardon? Mum's charging her phone. Can I please Daddy? use your phone to call Mummy? Mummy, Nana. No. Mum's phone is charging. Low battery. Well, wait till yeah. it's finished charging. Yeah, I'll take a while. Yeah, also, Nana's going to be on the road at the moment. Mummy thinks Nana's not coming. You yeah. think Nana is coming, and I think... Okay, so what we need to do is that kept it on that side of the road? Oh, it has two. Even better. Uh, I think this one's going to be the one that crosses over. So, um, oh, in that instance, flip back over to no parking. Yeah, keep it on that side so we don't have a... So... Yeah, so that creates that situation. I'll fix that up in a minute. That's on that side, so that's not crossing over. Um, I think that one has the cycleway on... Has the cycleway there, so that's fine. So we don't have a two-way cycleway. It's okay, I can add one in. The problem is the reason why is it's on the right-hand side. So it creates a conflicting movement. Ooh, one more set of pre-rolls. Wait a minute. In fact, I'm going to do the pre-rolls now because that will take us through to lunchtime. And then we're going to take a break. See, there's going to be in the, uh...
And again there. So we'll just wait for the pre-roll on this one. Yeah, okay. Pre-rolls to finish. Uh, sorry, the ads to finish, and this will be the last one. Lunchtime, then we'll switch into Dyson Sphere program. Okay, let's carry on. So that is, it's gonna make sure, it, uh, that's right, it, the game does it the opposite. So it's like, oh. that just do it the opposite side of the road nuts okay this is the problem these have um i think these have parking on them so it's like oh bit of a pain in the butt but there's nothing to all right so that's oh gotta be oh i haven't done those yet so that will get adjusted um shortly okay so that's there that's there that's there we don't need so we can just go now down to three lane um no buses needed for this one because Howdy. Hi, Dad. hello Mm -hmm. Hello. I'm going cowboy practice. <laughs> Good girl. I like cowboy. Bye. Hello, Drennan. How are you? <laughs> what, what, what's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the only problem with that. Okay, so that's there. Oh, that's a big three lane. Heck. Okay. Um. Sorry, that needs to be a four. So I am going to cycle away this one off. So, give me a second, I just derped. Exclamation derp, everyone. Uh, is it this, is it, or was it this one? Medium roads, medium roads, I think it's a medium. Might have made the roundabout technically too, oh no, because it's not handling traffic on all four angles. Yeah, so that's fine, so tram road. Might have made it a bit too small, I'll see. Uh oh, yeah, big about. So I think the easiest way to, I think the easiest way to actually honestly handle this one is, to be all honest, is just go. <laughs> See, we're not breaking anything else because this is. Right, this is this. Um, oh, sorry, that's sorry, that's not tram road. That's um. Ah, no, I'm derping. That should be. Uh, we're not running buses up there, are we? No. So. Ugh. Try. Should be there because that will be this. So back to tram roads. And I 
Okay, so that allows that, and that's going to be for you to... Uh, no, no theme for this, well, no theme for this city. So let me just come out for you. So this is um, Vanilla Coast by Mr. Miyagi. Very well, map creator. It's a map I've used before, but I had to stop because the Industries DLC came out at the time and it um, dirt the city. So we're going to do it, do it again. So we're just spending our time doing the layout. Just getting it done. So we're, I've chosen the transport mode. So it's Metro... Uh, metro tram bus helicopter uh, but we will put in a couple of hip we will do heavy rail stations going out to the fringe as well okay so that's running down here and that will connect to here because that's going to connect to there and there yeah it's a this map's a gorgeous map to work with and it's a vanilla map so modded or unmodded and console I believe console players can play it as well. Now we are running pre-rolls as well every half an hour just to keep the ads down for non-subs. Okay, so that's that side done. Now what was this going on here? This was a bus. So I had to do one more set of... Oh yeah, I had to fix this up. Um, so that had to be... That's a service road, so that only needs to be... That's <laughs> the very definition of yeet skis and overkill. So we only need to do... Um, 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 I only need to do that one because it's going to be a... Oh wait, that's handling traffic coming up and down, isn't it? So that's um, it's a 2 plus 1. Do I have 2 plus 1 cycle lanes? 2 plus 1 cycle lane, lanes this one I do there we go oh wait it's only a one what have I done here oh because it's a service lane that's right oh no wait no this is not a service lane this is oh is there only one lane coming up Oh, that means I don't need it to have it that large going down. Okay, so this has become a de facto main road by default. Um, okay, that's going to need some serious readjusting then. Because there's no way that's going to cope. Especially if it's feeding down into this entire area. Unless I do. Um, oh, yeah, there's a way around. Yeah, no, I know how to deal with this. So keep that as utility only. I'll shrink this road down. So the easiest way around that is actually come back here so keep that straight so uh, um oh that's gonna have to be and a lot of backwards and forwarding at the moment because this messed something up Actually, that is going to end up being a... Oh. It's... No, I can't do that. It has to be... Let me just do some quick adjustments because the road alignment's out of, out of whack at the moment. So I need to just... Um, that can't be that. That has to be... Let me just let me just redo the road alignments for a second because they are technically out of whack at the moment, which would also make sense as I do this, because that means this can also be upgraded to tram later on. So the, all the future proofing is available. Oh. Okay, so that is a two plus one. 
So shoot back over to here. Go back this way. Yep, that works fine. That works actually quite brilliantly, actually. Um, I might... See, they've... Uh... Yeah, I know what to do here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. And just make that a left-hand turn only. So I'll show you what you do here. You go... Um... So that is... Funny game. Oh, what did I just hit? Sorry, that was the wrong one. So you keep these guys running straight ahead. But you can bring these guys around. And they'll just go across two lanes anyway. Whoops. So that gives a flow into here. And, yep, I know they have to cross the tram proper. It's like, oh, whoop the do is that only... Oh, no, they can turn out there. So that's fine. That will be a transit way. I'm just determining what kind of transit way. Still got this to tie up. So let's tie him up now. Because we're here. So let's just tie him up. Because the be, uh, best way to do that is, and then turn that around. Leave that there, because that could be something else. And it means I can now do bus met, uh, <laughs> did I just jank myself? Five bucks says I did. Get ready for the derps, everyone. Bus and metro. Did I? No, I didn't. I've got enough room. So that's sweet. And it's on the right-hand side too, so don't bother with the bus lanes. Wrong side. Excellent. So we've actually got that set up. And that actually can prepare for the transit way too. Okay, so we've got all that laid down. That's laid down. Um, what do we set up here for buses? Yeah, let's get the transit way set up now. Now, it's going to take no zoning. And I've also got to anticipate what I'm going to run down the middle, so. Ah, uh, do we have another set here? So we've got to do one more set here. He's done by the roundabout and there, so he's fine. So we've got to do one more. Okay, so let's... What can we run this as? Might just run it as straight cycleways. So... One. Two. So that sorts them out. And then again, as I said, you can create transit ways. Now this transit way is going to be a bit interesting because it's actually off center to where that station is. So I didn't get that perfectly lined up. No eating in the bedroom. Pop. So yeah, you definitely want that to serve as a transit way. So I think the best way... Oh, because they've got connections there. Uh, yuck. Oh, that's only a one way. So that's going to run straight across. Okay. So I think the best way to do this... We're not planning to... There's no trams in that sector as in no. So it's busways. We're going to do busways. LPS. My tweez. Oi, ah, oh, autosave. Derpy autosave. Twenty minutes time, I'm gonna break for lunch for half an hour, and then we're gonna get into Dyson Sphere program. Mm. Okay. So
No zoning on these, doesn't matter. And if you think that's a short intersection, I know. So I'm going to alter the roads accordingly to allow for it. You also know zoning. Great for building busways. So that's one transit way. That's technically become one for trams. So we've got two transit ways. I've got the roundabout there. I can add another transit way down here if I need to. But this is bus lane down, so it's not urgent. So the buses are going to come are going to come out and flip. So um, let me just bus lane roads aren't going to work either in this instance because the way it is, I think it's an asymmetrical. Um, no. Yeah, asymmet. Yeah, it's going to be asymmetricals. So let's go to asymmetrical and wrong way. Might take that as a three. Oh. This is a lot of backwards and forwarding. So I might actually take that as a three. Because that just frees up more. Oh, did I just make that asymmetrical? Is that an a Oh, that's an asymmetrical road. Actually, hang on. No. So that's one round two through, two through on that. So yeah, that does go back to, does go back to six lane. Um, that becomes a, and then, yeah, because that feeds back onto the main road. So that works, and then you just drop this boy back to. Hey AM, hey AM, how are you? It's good to see you here. That, um, it's now afternoon my time. How goes it? And welcome to my 12 hour stream today. Don't ask why I'm doing a 12 hour stream. One, on a public holiday, it's an anniversary. And all good for the lurk. And two, it's summer. Just a note Okay. all good and i hope your stream went well today it was good to see you in your stream the other day it's also good to see in the respective <laughs> uh, respective streams as well especially that especially that aussie guy who we'll all see later tonight <laughs> i'm still here i'm here don't worry don't worry i know i <laughs> uh, just for um those who don't know, we follow the pro lurkers policy. If you want to lurk, you're more than free to do so, because I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Okay, so it's you can tell this road is perfectly not parallel. Okay. So we'll keep that road there. In fact, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip this over. So yeah. As we're coming into 15 minutes into my break for lunch, I will break for lunch and then we're going to tuck into the Dyson Sphere program, which is I was playing with yesterday. So um, it's a first playthrough, so it's going to be extremely interesting as I prepare to get off the planet because I'm still stuck on the planet. Nowhere near building a Dyson Sphere yet, so. Okay, so that's that infrastructure set up. So what I want to do now, this is an arterial. Go back. Oh, please don't tell me about that. All right, so we'll run him. Yeah, so that's gonna merge up 
that's going to merge up there so what i'm going to have to do is just going to pick up a tile behave game i know you don't like being run for okay okay so what we're going to do is i need to do some stitching up so at the moment we're not to be honest that's actually going to come up this way i'm going to really screw the road system over in a minute because i need to so what we're going to do is probably let's work this out roundabouts three lane what are we here well we're a three lane so that works fine so let's take it to 88 so we'll do an 88 there come back slightly oh nah come on come back 80 here now we've got a railway to work with too which is going to be five eighths of fun okay so what i'm going to do is i'll be going okay so this um bus lanes uh Do, 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 do. Where is it? There, uh, th just the three. I don't need the four. Not now, anyway. Three. So we'll put him there, and then. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so what I need to do is just bring that main road over. Oh, wrong. This is the problem with so many else. It's like, which way is this road? Crap skis. Okay, so that solves that one. Back over this way. Okay, and then we can bring him up. Flip him over. Okay, so that is um it's a three plus one now i don't think i've got a three plus one in the asset uh from the vanilla roads and the asymmetricals are a little bit too big for this so i do have it but it's a cycle lane oh wait no i might have i might have it as a bus i think it sits in the is it sitting in the small roads or the large roads I'll just see if I do. I know I've got a. F That's a two laner. Large roads. I think it might be a four laner though. So it's. Uh, theoretically, it would work. Because I'll show you how in just a second. Uh, oh, those are all. None of them are bus lanes, are they? No. And that's a bus lane going the other way. Which is te uh, technically not needed because you can't access the bus station from there. So that's a bit... Um, that's okay. So what you do is you do this. Use one of these. Technically I've got to... Um, they can't be... Oh, excuse me a minute. Someone's... Yeah, because that's going to allow that anyway. So where's the roundabout? There. Just one moment, guys. Just one moment.
the kids can sense it's coming up to just about lunchtime. Okay. Okay, so where's the roundabout? There. Okay, so we should be fine with one of these. Is that a nodal? It's a nodal. Okay, so that means we run that up. Oh, no you don't, because that's going to be there. And then straight down. Done. And then this can be freed up for, so if you're wondering what I'm going to do here, main roads. So I'll be, uh, ooh, no it won't. That will be continued. I think I might just run that as, as soon as I get into my backside of the gear, might just run that as a cycle. So we're allowed, we do a connection, so we'll bring, so I'm going to have to do it. Yep. Okay, so that's formed that up, so I'm going to just need to adjust this quickly. So that would be there, and that forms that. Okay, so we've got part of the city centre done. That connects over to here. Now this is going to be interesting. I think this is going to be a case of... Ooh, where's the node for it? And what's the road set up to? So it's definitely a bus lane, that is for certain, it's definitely buses, that is for certain. So, that one. Where's the node? Okay, so, it has to be nodal. Crap, I need to have a think about that. It's not going to, unless I brace it. Oh. Actually, before I even do that, let me do this. So that's gonna, yep, yeah, I'll have to go up and I'll have to go under. So tracks, because I forgot there's an inter, there's an interest city line as well. Okay, well, what do we got? I could technically leave it alone and run it off here and arc down. And bring it, it says, what have we also got? Yeah, huge big connections too. Because it's going to form part of this. Okay. No challenge is insurmountable. So what we'll do is go back to threes. Um, I might, yeah, no, it needs to be bus. So we're going to tunnel. And that needs to do with us. Uh, wrong way, actually. Two, four, six, eight. What I haven't done is been. Ah! Auto saves! Gotta love them! You'll be thinking, what the heck? It will make sense in just a minute. In fact, it should start to already. Come again, come, come again. Okay, so back over here. Okay, so. Where's the roundabout? So it's there.
Just as well as this roundabout's nodal. Oh, because it's a straight. Uh, it doesn't like me doing that. I need to do this. Okay, so it's f automatically formed the bridge underneath. I should be able to... Now, this is going to be a little bit... Where's that other node? Oh, okay, so this is going to be a very short one. So we should already be going down two to start. And then come down to ten. Ah, that's a straight. That's going to be because... And then curve around. Hmm. Done. And if I was to drop two, and then what you do is you go here. I might, uh, could make that. Yeah, I think I will actually. So what am I going to do? Sorry, let me just do the old game of backwards and forwards again. Oh, Pre-rolls and then the off, so we're nearly... I'm looking for a specific one. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is go... Do that, and then do, do, do. Because we do try and encourage active modes as much as we can. There we go. And that's formed that up. So if I was to, let me come out of this, drop down into first person view. And this is what the map looks like going around. It's beautifully flat. So you're going to see the buildings. I haven't decided on the building theme yet. So that will be interesting. I might, for one of the very few times, run international. So you come around. And go under the railway bridge. And there's a bit of a... Stick one there. So the best way to do that is you would go around. And here comes some detailing 101, everyone. Um, shoot. Nope. Dup. Prop Anarchy goes on. And now I've just turned procedurals on too, so... Uh, whoop de doo Might as well you run procedurals, so... So I've got procedurals on, so we... It will make... Um, when I did it the last time before Industries came out, especially when I was using using the tall buildings and set in the city centre and the metropolises, I was using the international theme and the European theme, and boy, it made one heck of a skyline. <laughs> city skyline. Roll credits, everyone. Uh, we just run out of... Just give me a second. I'm going to run another 60 second pre roll. So, just to give a few more minutes. Just wait out for the ad. So, I'll just quickly do this. Those, on, those that are on.
and then yeah, I'm just waiting for the ad to run out. So give me. Right, we're back. So we'll just do this last little bit, and then I'm gonna go for lunch, and then we're gonna get into Dyson Sphere program and see if. I... Oh, for flip's sake, it was there. Oh no, it's not that's it, it's just a dip, it's not a... So we'll turn procedurals back on. This is going to be interesting because now I'm going to have to do this in reverse. Control V. Is that facing the wrong way? Yep. Okay. Let me just take Anarchy back off. Okay. So we'll stop there. So this is where we've come to today. So if we come back out, this is what the map looks like. So if I go from take it from a hill view that's what it looks like so as you can see it's a it's a it's a bay with mountains all around it it's a gorgeous map and so yeah uh, if you wanted to if you want to know what this looks like so we've got the bare bones down so We'll be working in this section and this section in this section particularly because we'll do start round start with the city center and then uh work it from there but if you want to know what that particular roundabout looks like i can tell you what it looks like so here come down so you come down so there's your dip warning so you come down and then the, oh shoot <laughs> okay lucky i looked contradictory information that wouldn't be the first or last so let me just delete copy control v i was wondering why it was turned the other way last time so we'll do that again. Ha ha ha. So dip. And down you come. There's the bridge. And then hill, because you're coming straight up and you're into a roundabout. The other one you would look for, as well as your chevrons, is Okay, so that tells you the height of the bridge. That's good to know. Roundabouts facing the wrong way. Do, 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 do. Dimp hill bump. I don't think... Uh... Oh, yeah, I think that... Yeah, that's a low clearance sign. That's in, not in. That's in um, me, uh, f imperial, not metric. Okay, so let's just pop out. Just got to do the obligatory two photos, and then I'm going to jump into a lunch break, and then we're going to be back for Dyson. Uh, sorry, let me do that again. So you can see as you can start to see the bones start to appear. That looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? You can start. 
you can start to see the bones appear on this on this city and where the center point is going to be and so on so you're looking at the city center probably ending up in here and then building all around that industry actually that's a good point okay so it's pretty well scattered everywhere so it won't exactly have a resource problem but that concludes this part of the 12-hour stream. I am going to be going on a lunch break.